Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold and Chocolate Chamber. And this is a two floored thing for Route 11. And it's a pretty massive route, as usual. Plenty of trainers and plenty of grass. Running into a Pokemon walking into the very first patch of grass, that's a hint to use a Max Repel. Grass Knot, that's a grass type version of Low Kick, and it's also a special attack, actually, which is kind of weird. So it seems like it would be physical. And here's another one of these moments. Actually, no, it's not fully the tree. And those trees are layering over each other, each other, and it looks really weird. And, ooh, is there a secret back there? No. I ain't no NCS thinking that there's secret passages in trees. And there's our Evergreen right there as well that I'm not going to pick up. Yay, youngster Owen, my audio is kind of messing up there. Which is why I didn't talk for a second. My audio was kind of quiet for a second. And I got about a U for a second. It's actually going to take quite a few seconds to take this guy down. Who equals in titches. Jason! Yeah, I got stomped! I don't know why I'm avoiding all this grass because I have a rappel up. Durr. Herman! Doesn't say anything. And well, maybe you could say, say something. Uh, Lavender Town's that way. <laughs> That's all I need to tell you. Uh, that about you, yes I did. Don't regret it at all, and I thought he was walking around. And you, are you gonna talk? I can see it. everything there is to see about you. You're seeing a lot of things, Fidelity. I couldn't foresee your power. This may be a pretty widespread route, but that's all the items, and going down here is actually a surf area, and there's that Snorlax right there, but I, I'm gonna check around here because there's uh, items in Vermilion City that we can't really get without going from here later on. Sticky Barb, which... Uh, it's just an item that does damage to you, but it'll pass on to uh, opponents when they do a physical attack. So finally, our hidden big pearl, and another item, a pearl! Another pearl! Okay, let's go to our Poke Gear and turn on our Poke Flute part of our radio, which we're gonna have to adjust towards the middle top. No, that's just Pokemon music from what was already there. And there's our Poke Flute right there. So, yeah. This Snorlax is actually a kind of a strong customer at level 50, and let's see, is it going to be female or is it going to be male? In my failed attempt, it was a female, and it was annoying. So I'm opening up with Alcadabra, which is kind of a death wish because the thing does crunch, but I'm trying to lower its accuracy down with uh, Flash a little bit. And good thing it uses Giga Impact. Giga Impact is basically a physical Hyper Beam, or, well, yeah, but, although uh, normal was all physical back in generations before this. It wasn't until time in April that the physical special split happened. Okay, I have trouble catching it while it's paralyzed in my previous attempt, but I catch this in like my third or fourth Ultra Ball <sighs> stuff. I guess boys are a little less lenient. I guess this is America and the last one was Japan or something. I ate, I went ahead and healed up, and I used a match repel because we're going into Diglett's cave, which is festooned with Diglett's. It was right next. I thought I already said that. It's a match vibe. Another unspeakable item, and we're gonna have to do a lot of things, but we can't really do much here. So let's just pass through for now. Let's go out there. It looked glitchy, almost as if it was emulator testing, but it wasn't emulator testing. And here's Route Two, right by Viridian City. Gonna explore around the outskirts a little bit and grab a Carbos, yeah. I'm sorry that I stop every couple seconds to use my item finder, but you know me, I wanna get all my items. Oh my good nuggets! You're the first visitor I had in a long time, going crazy with joy! I'm gonna give you a nugget, yay! I was probably his first visitor in three years. Can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, but that'll have to do. Is, are, is this like one of those things that you get offered free money, but people don't take up on it? Because. They want to be polite and everything's so glitchy, only while I'm walking, but, uh, trades back at the other place actually got glitchy. Okay, I received something from him. Secret Ash, yay, another one of those! He replies all faded book about this good for me! And healthy! I don't know, Ash may not be very healthy, but, like, Sacred Ash is good. It's like one of those soul-cleansing kind of things. And another thing here on Route 2 is an elixir. It always takes so long to cross stuff off the list because I always have awkward positions for things. Is there a hidden potion under the tree again? No. So yeah, here we are in Viridian City again. And I could either surf or use cut, but I have cut more readily available. Well, 
I have both, but it will take longer to surf, but it still takes a little bit longer to surf. Yeah. Drowsy, blah blah blah, he's trying to give me the same TM, which is Dream Eater. So yeah, Viridian's pretty quiet, but there is a hidden nugget here. And the gym is blocked off, so of course it's going to have to be the 8th gym for us again. It's a, it's a club for top trainer battles, so I barely remember this place. Do I battle people here? So the place battle the trainers, not just a trainer, but it's also a chance to experience many things yourself. But the champion from Ballot Town went to all the cities and towns of Kanto. Mm -hmm. You can rest from Pokemon battles. So practice battles downstairs. So let's see how well a trainer from Jota battles. Hmm, maybe I could get experience. I, um, I'm pretty sure it's not one of these things where I get battle points like the Battle Frontier, which I think will open up once I get eight badges. Right this way, please. Okay, seems like it is. Pokewalker will bring your throwing prints here. Okay. And battle points when you in. Bring out your best. I'll borrow that. Okay. Slow open that. Attack, 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 bonk. Check your battle points. Center versus recorder. Yeah. And fabulous prizes. Okay, might as well give this a quick shot. Alright, let's go talk to him. Battle? Yes! It's Matt! Make up your mind what it is. So, everybody's gonna be brought down to level 50 except for Helper because he is level 37. So, yeah. It's one of these kind of things where you're even Dal and then you have to go from there. You win! Thanks! So, yeah, you can get one battle point for each trainer you beat, but the thing is... Like, there's moves that you can learn and items that you can get that cost a lot of battle points. And when we go to the battle frontier, we're going to be able to rack up battle points a little faster. It's going to be overall better to get the certain things that are good. So this is Route 22 towards the Pokemon League, and there's, like, literally no items here. There's a certain Celebi event kind of thing that goes on where you would find out that Giovanni is actually uh, your rival's father. And, well, yeah, pretty much his father. And, uh, you can eventually go and battle Giovanni at Tojo Falls. So, yeah, I've been things, and I'm sorry if that was spoilerific to you. Uh, it's not really insanely plot intrusivism. How does that come up with ism-ification words? It's just so fun to say for some reason. Alrighty, I'm just going to go down to Route 1. Which has baby music! Yay! I don't know. Like, I remember, like, my niece was here, like, well, not here at my house, but, uh, I was visiting them in South Carolina, and she was, like, two weeks old, and I was like, I'm gonna play some baby music, and then I played this. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I've got a trainer here. I have to learn again class. I heard out head outside to practice. Sherman. I need to follow the textbook. P. Sherman, 42, Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. I'm surprised I even remember that. I haven't even really seen Finding Nemo that much. And besides, I only remember that from, uh, Facebook. <laughs> and nice trainer right here, yep. And there is an apricorn somewhere, probably just ran past it. Friend. Yup, this is strong as expected. No, I should give him, I don't know what accent I would give to a guy named French. There's also an ace trainer female. I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, Slice and Dice is kind of hanging on dead right there. Well, it's Quinn. Down and out. I don't know why people always put Thunderbolt on Starmie, like, even in-game. Like, I see it for Wi-Fi battles, but, you know, things are strange. How about Alcadabra goes out front? Because, uh, gym trainers, he wouldn't be my most valuable, although he would be good because he's so freaking strong. This is Route 1, the basic thing, and yay, Pallet Town right here. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We're in the music range right now. But, uh, Route 1 is basically Route 29 and Johto, of course. The beginning route, and you can, uh, get Centret and Fur in here. Where's Red's house? Hmm. Yeah, where's Red? Hi! Red's been away. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no news is good news, but I do worry about him. Yeah? How about we check upstairs? Everything seems intact. Looks like he hasn't been using hasn't been used in a long time. Must be kind of old like mine. Well, he has a Wii, so he's been by recently. Hmm. Well, he's probably, he probably got a Wii right as soon as he became a champion. That was, that was probably the year 2006. It's like, yo, Red, you became a champion, so I'm gonna get you a a week for Christmas. Or something. <laughs> so here's Blue's house. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City, but he goes out of town so often and causes problems for the trainers. Hmm, indeed. So, Daisy Oak, you can bring Pokemon and get them massaged here. And to get Blue's phone number when we have actually challenged him, you can... 
well, yeah, you can get the massages, and, uh, if you get seven massages and show her a Pokemon with max happiness, I know it's so weird, you'll get Blue's phone number. Palatown, a pure white beginning. Just because, you know, all these towns are named after painting terms, and palette is where you get started with painting. And here's Professor Oak's lab. Oh, T2, it's good of you to come on this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty good, huh? Oh, it's got in Kanto gym badges. I suppose it's hard, but the experience will surely help you. But come see when we get them all. I have a gift for you. Keep it up, T2. I spoke Pokedex some of them. Let's have my Jota Pokedex evaluated. Scene 200, states cut 41. I see. His Pokemon at a decent pace. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, have my, uh, 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 Kanto Pokedex evaluated. He's talking from, oh, National. Scene 200, then we're for anyone. Yeah. Only pretty much seen like 25 national Pokemon. Yeah. You can just pretty much see any uh, Kanto Pokemon in Johto. But yeah, we did good things in this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. And in the next episode, we're going to be surfing down the long route to get to Cinnabar Island. Until then, do not toast yourself.